it did require a lot of patience and persistence. Uh, I didn't tackle this project all at once. It was a journey. It was an evolution followed by a big bang. I initially became fascinated by what the Aztecs and Mayans were doing in decorating their skulls to their deities. So they used uh, small jade tiles, also obsidian and bone, and you can see uh, how their skulls were decorated. So based on that, I made my initial attempts at decorating my own skulls with tiles, and I used uh, some small glass tiles, as you see here. I also became fascinated by what the Huichol people of Central Mexico were doing with their decorations. And what they were doing was decorating uh, jaguar skulls. And nowadays, of course, they're decorating other figures. And what they used are seed beads. Uh, various color seed beads in dramatic fashion. And for them, of course, it also is very significant for their culture. So this is an example of what the Huichol people do. And you can see the colorful nature of it, the very tiny seed beads. Naturally, I wanted to take my hand at trying to create my own art using seed beads as well. And so once again, uh, I like working with skulls. And so I used seed beads to decorate my skulls. So here's an example of my seed bead art. And as you can see, these seed beads measure about one millimeter in diameter. So it takes quite a while just to create one piece. So from there, I started to use the Swarovski crystals. Now the crystals are also pretty small, but they're definitely larger than one millimeter. And that led me to start using the crystals as my next art form. This was my first crystallized skull that I created. So at the time, I was not aware if there were other uh, crystal skulls uh, that had been created. I know that I had created mine, I was happy with it, and uh, so I was able to show it in a couple of art galleries, and lucky for me, I was able to sell a couple. Uh, many people mentioned that they were in love with the piece, so I had an idea that I was onto something. And that's when it occurred. The Big Bang occurred. So I said to myself, what if I crystallized an entire skeleton? So 423 hours later, Starletto was born. So I believe this is the first in the world of an entire skeleton, totally encrusted, in Swarovski crystals. So I used various colors of crystal to give it the shimmer, to give it the light, to give it depth. And as you can see, I tried to keep it anatomically correct as well. This piece is gonna to appeal to different people on different levels. There's gonna be those who like the, the dazzle, the pizzazz of the crystals, just the brilliance of the piece. There's gonna be those who enjoy anatomy, bones, osteology, and so it's gonna to appeal to those people. And lastly, it's gonna to appeal to some people on a spiritual level, I believe, because there are those who believe that there is power in the crystal. Now that Starlet has been created, she's been born, people have asked me, so what's next? And I say to myself, well, she should have a partner and maybe a little one too. So we'll create the first Swarovski family. So I think the next stop for Starletta should be an art show. Maybe put her together with my other crystallized pieces and um, I'd like to call it Dr. Vasquez Crystal Menagerie.